Okay, we're gonna be detailing this pony right here. Now I did actually do some work to it. I changed out the starter solenoid and it still doesn't work. So I'm wondering if the starter just happened to go bad uh, right when we bought the car. I kind of have a good feeling about this car. I think I can get this thing looking decent. This paint is mostly just infused with dirt and mud. Uh, I don't really know what it looks like under this. So Victoria's gonna wash it. She is has been like begging me to get it out of the garage so she can wash it. This video is also sponsored by Grios Garage and it's sponsored by Bosley. And we'll talk about them here in a little bit. All right, so I don't know what all Evan has said so far, but I am very excited to get my hands on it. I have to be honest, <laughs> the night that uh, he had come home with it, we were sitting there just hanging out and he's like, what's wrong, aren't you excited? And I was like, of course I'm excited, but I'm ready to like get my, oh wow. I'm ready to get my hands on it. Like I want to start cleaning it. So that night we, I started vacuuming and now, <laughs> oh, what am I doing wrong? All right, let's try this again. I had to call in back up. I didn't know how to get this figured out. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give okay, okay. <laughs> Last summer, you saw the clock on the wall. Where'd you find her? You know she stands so tall like a ghost in the night. But I don't want to find a grandfather. You know you fight me out. Trippy. Creepy. Ooh, that is creepy. Wow. That's crazy. It really cleaned up nicely, but once this water dries, it's not gonna look like this. Ready for a workout? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you got things just kind of etched into it and oh yeah. Oh that's nice, bud. Before we continue with this video, this video is brought to you by Bosley. Now that might be a familiar name to some of you guys. Bosley is America's number one hair restoration experts. They've been doing this for more than 45 years and they've performed over 430,000 hair restoration procedures. I have got a wide variety of an audience. If hair loss is in your family, if it runs in your family, if it's in your future, or even if it's starting now, the only way to combat that is by acting sooner than later. Bosley has a bunch of different types of options for you guys. They have both surgical and non-surgical options. They also have over 70 locations across the United States for you guys. Now, if you don't know where to start, here's what Bosley can offer you. They can offer you a free information kit so that you guys can learn a little bit more about everything. That's gonna be the link in my description. They do offer permanent solutions, such as medical transplants, a few other ones, a few other types that I honestly can't pronounce. <laughs> and they do have an FDA approved medication from Bosley RX. They also offer free in-person and online consultations to answer any questions you might have. It might be a sensitive topic for some people. It might be hard to embrace the fact that you do this, but they will help you get to where you need to be. And like I said, if you, if you wait too long, then I, I don't know what to tell you. The best way, like I said, to combat it is to act sooner than later. Learn how to get a fuller, thicker head of hair by going to bosley.com slash shanks. And if you do that right now, you're gonna get a free information kit and a $250 gift card. That's super helpful. That's free money towards anything you might need to get done in a free information kit and an expert to help you get to where you need to be. Thank you so much to Bosley for sponsoring, guys. Take care of it sooner than later. Back onto the video. Now we're off to the fun part. I had a few ideas on how to get this paint kind of back to normal. Victoria washed it. I went ahead, I brought it in, and I, I did clay bar the car, and um, it was a it was moderately effective. Since I'm gonna be doing so much, I just wanted to get everything out of the paint that I could. So I've gotten a chunk of the hood done. I want you guys to see how bad it is uh, normally. Here we go, you can kind of see like all the scratches and stuff like that in the paint. Um, it's got a lot of this overspray in it, so what I'm gonna have to do is wet sand. And what I did was I just wet sanded and did a 
Look at that, y'all. I definitely am pretty <laughs> confident that I can get this paint looking at least decent. It's not it's not going to look brand new. If anything, what it does need is uh, it needs clear coat. And I mean, there's a lot of places on the Mustang that like, I mean, the paint's literally gone. Yeah, um, but and I won't be embarrassed driving around. You would be embarrassed driving this around? No, I'm just kidding. Jeez. <laughs> it also had some like glue on it. I mean, it literally was like glue. It was everywhere. So they just did some homeschool projects or something on the hood of this car, I suppose. And I wet sanded with 3,000 grit. I didn't want to be too aggressive. This is what it looks like before actually compounding it. What I'm doing is the 3,000 grit, and then I'm moving to a, uh, a pretty aggressive wool pad uh, with some aggressive compound. After this, like that's not even finished polishing. I don't know if I want to keep, I could keep cutting further. There's some really, really deep scratches in this paint but I'm not sure if I want to forego the, the hassle of, of getting rid of all that or not. It also is super weird. This oversprayer, this like paint right here is really, really on the car. So it's coming off pretty well, as you can see. I just gotta keep hitting it. If I had to guess, honestly guys, this paint job, they, they, this is probably a Mako paint job. The reason I can tell is the prep was crap. Um, Mako does not do a good job of prepping. Like, you have so much chipping everywhere. I mean, the paint's soft, it's smooth, but you have these giant chunks. I was uh, even going through here and stuff, like, this paint is so brittle um, that if I do any more sanding, it's not going to just take the overspray off, it's just gonna take the entire top coat. Off. I'm even going uh, over right here. I haven't polished any of this yet, but um, I've wet sanded this area. This stuff is just really being a pain in the butt, not wanting to come off. So I think really the ultimate goal here today is just to make whatever paint we have look good. I mean, it's already shiny. You guys can tell right now on this clip that it's very shiny and it looks way better than it did. I mean, compared to over here, like it looks considerably better. So the goal really, let's just have it polished looking good, sealed up, but I'm going to have this car fully repainted eventually because I don't know if I've showed you guys this, I guess I did, but yeah, like that, that you can't fix that. Hi everybody. What have you been doing in here, sweetie? Oh, you know, just been looking at the, just been supervising. She's inspecting. She's a tough critic, y'all. Mm. She's looking at mommy's job. What did you do so, so far? So, this, I honestly, it almost looked like the leather was starting to get like really brittle and fall apart. Yeah. But it was just coated with dirt. Yeah. Um, so I used their uh, leather cleaner and did, I had to do a few swipes on it and it, it took like three rags just for this. She's not, she's not oh. impressed. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I need to keep vacuuming. She woke up, so I had to stop. But um, so it's really clean she, in here now. Yeah, this was all the carpet in the in in the leather is honestly like all in, pretty so impeccable. This is what I was saying. How crazy is this? I need to redo the middle part. It bends at an angle. Oh, I see what you're saying. So that you can like easily get back. That's cool. Isn't that wild? It's honestly it's all in a lot better condition than I thought it was. So I think I think that's how everybody's thinking right now. What you think, sweetie? Oh, <laughs> what is that? What is that? What? So just finished wet sanding with the really big pad and I was about to go with the three inch and go around and just get all the small spots in. I noticed that stuff was peeling up right here. There is a ton of Bondo. I'm not sure what exactly happened. It sounds like it's only up here, but you can see all this, anything that's white right here is gonna be 
some panel bond, or not panel bond, but uh, body bond. And so I don't know how high it goes, and that makes sense why it didn't stick. Maybe they just didn't prep the bondo well enough, but uh, I started chipping off a little bit of it, and it just looks like it just kind of goes in there a ways. So I might just leave it how it is. Uh, I might do a little bit of filing and honestly just rebondo it myself. Kind of just curious if, if this car kind of got sideswiped or something, and then whatever body shop took care of it didn't do a great job. I, I decided to just grow some balls, put, put some big boy pants on, and break out the thousand grit. And it worked fantastically. But, so I did a thousand grit, and then I went back over with 3,000, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start polishing. But you can see a lot of these little spots that are still in the car, these actually aren't overspray and paint spots anymore. Some of them might be, but it's hard to distinguish them. As you can see, some of these are actual chips in the paint or just like imperfections where, when they were painting. So this car originally was the baby blue color, and I think they just sanded that down, didn't put any primer on it, and just, boom, yeet, and just, yeah, they just painted over it. I usually end up putting too much effort into some of these cars, which is fine, because it's fun. Sometimes, it's actually fair, I'm sweating and I'm tired, but I'm gonna go on to the heavy uh, wool pad over the entire car now, and uh, now is when it's gonna start shining. Stop it! <laughs> oh my gosh! This line. Mm -hmm. That's that's line, right? Mm -hmm. Holy cow! I am finished polishing the. What? Unlike oh, the take. Um, I finished polishing the Mustang. I don't really care to sit there and make you guys watch polish after polish after polish, but I'd rather explain to you guys. And I also do want to say a big thank you to Griot's Garage. They're a big sponsor of the channel, and um, I do have a discount code for you guys. This job that I'm about to show you would not be possible without them. I love their products. Stand by them. All their products, uh, all their all their liquid car care products are made right here in America in house. It's a family company as well. They're awesome people. So a big thank you um, by supporting them. That supports me a ton. I'm gonna go through the process and show you guys. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys the car first. I have not sealed it yet, so let's check her out. very proud of how this turned out. It was very hard. I used all Griot's products on this except for sandpaper, obviously. I ended up just growing some, some nads and, and, and 1,000 gritting a lot of the car. I'll show you guys the problem areas. You guys know I, I know how to make a car look good. I, I can do that, it's fine. But I like, to, I like to highlight the problem areas to kind of show um, the difficulties of the job itself. One of the main things was obviously the paint splatters everywhere. Like if you look here, like this, the before after of, of, of this is insane, like it's, it's nuts. I could have done some more thousand grit here, but I already had polished it and I really just, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of, uh, of, of dealing with, with that and I really didn't want to sand down any more than I needed to. Most of this area, 
I 1000 grit and then worked my way up to 3000 and then started polishing from there. For the most part, in order to get this to shine like I was able to, I had to 1000 and then work my way up to 3000 and then start polishing. The trunk was definitely an issue area, but I was able to get it. I, I 1000 gritted the entire trunk just like this as well. So that's why I was able to uh, be shiny. The I did 1000 grit uh, this area too. All of this uh, entire rear quarter panel, I just, I wasn't happy with it when I started polishing it. So I kind of cut down that clear coat and got closer to the paint and that ended up turning out really, really good. I really didn't touch the roof too much. It just, it's, it's just so much unnecessary effort to get a lot of this to be perfect, especially considering we're going to be repainting it. Hood is was super, super, super scratched and I was able to get a lot of it out. Um, I could have, I could have done more sanding. I really could have, but it just, it takes a long, long time and it's very exhausting. This is my third day on this project and I'm about to uh, finally seal it up and it will look a little bit better when I do seal it up. It will look a little more glossy and it'll pop a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you guys. So aside from the sandpaper, that's really simple stuff, but I'm gonna show you guys about the Griot's Garage products. Again, support them, that supports me a ton. Griot's is amazing, I got a code for you guys. You can save some money and uh, it keeps them <laughs> wanting to support me. When I moved on to the polishing, parts. What I did, started off with a wool. This is probably one of four pads I used on the car. I, I like to pair wool with fast correcting cream. This stuff is amazing and uh, it, I mean it, obviously you guys can see for your own eyes it does really really good work. So after I wet sanded the entire car I moved on to the wool pad and the fast correcting cream. Then after that I used a uh, and by the way this is their G15. It's got a 15 mil throw five inch pads. After the fast correcting cream I moved on to the orange stuff and I paired it with a microfiber. Slightly more abrasive than the orange pad. Usually typically you pair orange with orange yellow with yellow, white with white. But I did a microfiber pad with the orange and that was able to cut a little bit deeper um, into the swirls and some of the scratches on the paint. After that, I finished it up with the G9, which is the big boy. I also used the small one that's over here for a lot of the smaller areas. Yellow pad with their perfecting cream. It's just a good one to use because you go through and it kind of uh, clears up some of the small blemishes and it gets it to shine just a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use their ceramic three-in-one wax. This is a really good way to seal up your car, seal up your paint. It does give your paint some hydrophobic protection as well. If you guys have any questions or interested in any of my methods, I have countless detail videos out there that you guys can go back and watch. Almost every car in this garage literally has had its own detail video. This is gonna start making it pop, so I'm gonna do just a decently small area at a time. This stuff dries pretty quickly. Can't uh, waste too much time here, so it's so easy to use, guys. Um, highly recommend this product from them. Definitely, definitely, definitely go to Griot's and grab you some of this stuff, but you get it in there. It's gonna dry pretty quick once you wipe it, so do that, and you're gonna flip the towel over, and then you're going to wipe off any excess because you're gonna have some high spots it's gonna look so good, dude. It's raining right now. I really wanted to pull it outside and show you guys, but it's a horrible, it's just, our weather's horrible. So this video is going to be uh, drawn out much longer than it should have, just because of that. I'll pull it out and show you guys. I feel a little lost as I cruise around. This place is really turned upside down. I never thought that you would look this way. I wanna say the things that I can do. Dude, honestly, this is amazing. Uh, looking at the before and after photos, I'm going through and editing and just seeing what this thing, I'm always overly critical with everything that I do, but just seeing how this thing started off and looking at it now, it's 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 still pretty awesome. So I wanna give a big thanks to our team at Griot's Garage. I love their products, guys. I have been doing detailing a long time and uh, I've never had such consistently good products. Typically, a lot of detailers will piece together from different brands, but um, it's a one-stop shop with Griot's. It's amazing. So do me a big favor and, and, and do use that link if you need anything to do with detailing. Sorry, it's a little windy, but from the trunk, I mean, even, even, even the top doesn't look bad. The roof doesn't look bad. The hood is not horrible, like it's it's good. I really like it. I'm really pretty stoked. I do wish we could have gotten a little bit better 
luck with uh, the paint on this side. I don't know what in the world they were doing to this car, but it was uh, undeserving of whatever it was. The interior looks super nice. Victoria was able to kind of clean this up. I mean, literally just with Grio's interior cleaner, we got to clean all of that up. Pretty amazing, honestly, guys. If you guys don't know, at the end of every video, I give you guys daily advice. And something I'm just going to put on you today is Get whatever that thing is that needs to get done, get it done. Whether it's, you know, you looking into starting that business or doing your dang homework. <laughs> um, everybody wants to be rich, but nobody wants to put the work in. And I think I think the one of the main differences between people that are successful and not is uh, the amount of productivity they're able to get done or have during the day. You don't necessarily need a list of things to do to get things done. It could be filing your taxes, it could be uh, going to the grocery store, just being proactive about getting whatever it is done. Or if you can't find anything to do, then find something to do. That's a huge thing in the workplace. A lot of successful people um, in sales or, or, or whatever you name it, um, any, any industry really, is the successful people uh, always find something to do when their tasks are complete. I really just wanna give you guys some encouragement and just say like, go for it today and um, work hard. Get whatever it is done that you need to get done. Start whatever it is that needs to get started. Finish whatever it is that needs finished. And um, you'd be surprised how far that can get you. Love you guys, and I will catch you guys next video. Again, big thanks to Bosley and Grio's Garage for sponsoring. Make sure you guys click the links I've got for you. Helps me out a ton. Peace out, have an amazing day. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch, and it does help me a ton if you do, if you guys actually watch them. If you click on, click on it, please. Please, can you please click on it? Also, uh, subscribe and have a good day. <laughs>